Hola mis queridos, como estas mi amolicia? Hello my kittens, how are you? My name is Allison, and today we are playing Nancy Drew, Ghost of Thornton Hall Mobile Mysteries. Or I should say Mobile Mysteries, Nancy Drew, Ghost of Thornton Hall. This is actually the second game Her Interactive has made for the Nancy Drew game series as far as the Mobile Mysteries. Uh, their first one was... Um, hang on, I think the music might be just a little loud. Um, it's definitely loud in my ears. Uh, <laughs> this video is actually going to be a bit long just because I know there might be a few crashes. Ghost of Thorn Hall actually has a lot of hauntings. And, uh, sorry, I just went straight into that. <laughs> The first game her interactive made for Mobile Mysteries was Sh Secret of Shadow Ranch, and I actually highly check it out. It's actually a text-based game. Uh, it's actually from the original game they made, Secret of Shadow Ranch, but it's more of like a choose your uh, path adventure, choose your path a butterfly effect type of text-based adventure, which is really, really interesting. Really neat take on how to play the game considering how it's actually how you actually play it in on PC <laughs> or on Mac if you have a Mac anywho uh, they were gonna make a third one but I think because of all the issues that happened with Ghost of Thorn Hall uh, I imagine they had the same issues with the third one and they decided to <laughs> trash it uh, they shelved it according to uh, the the internet records, <laughs> and they have not returned to it at all. So, I doubt they will make a third one. Uh, I really hope they get back to it though, because to see what that game would be like is would be really cool. Um, I think it was Sea of Darkness. If not, it was something to do with the ocean, so something to do with the sea. The title was really interesting. Eye catching, I should say. <laughs> so, let's get into Ghost of Thorn Hall. Uh, not the actual game. I have quite a bit to talk about of, uh, when it comes to the mobile mysteries for Ghost of Thorn Hall. <laughs> for instance, with uh, every single Nancy Drew game that Her Interactive makes, they base all of their video games off the Nancy Drew book series. And the book series has been going on since 1930. Yes, it's been going on for a really long time. In fact, it's been almost a hundred years. Nine more years for it to be a hundred. Wow! And I was expecting that. Let's ignore that. <laughs> okay. Um, which means I'm going to get a notifi notification soon. I'm going to ignore it. Um, oh wait, no, that was for a different game. When the timer goes off, I'll, I'll be getting a, a notification, and I'm going to ignore that. Yeah. <laughs> there is going to be a timer going off later in the recording, and uh, when that happens, I'm going to ignore it. It will bring up, uh, I will get a notification from a certain game, and I'm going to ignore that as well. Anyway, Ghost of Thorn Hall is based off the book Uncivil Acts. Um, this book right here. It is actually from a different binding of the original series, Nancy Drew. And when I say binding, <laughs> both the original company, company and the and the current company that sells the Nancy Drew books, they actually like to reset the series every so often, give it a new cover art, new, a new subtitle for the series, just to let people know that there's a difference between the books that they're selling. Uh, so, cause like, there might be better, uh, grammar, better, better punctuation, or it could be like a revised story or even new stories and they don't want it to be, they don't want it to be, uh, connected to the other, uh, bindings to, so that it's not canon, I should, I should say. And I think that's what all the Nancy Drew fans are so confused with the Nancy Drew series. They think everything is canon. I think that's what has everyone so confused about the Nancy Drew, about Nancy Drew as a person, Nancy Drew as a detective. It's frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
anyway, I would go into details about uncivil acts. Unfortunately, uh, or not, un, not unfortunately, but fortunately, I will go into more detail about that at the end of the video. Most likely when the video, when the game crashes. <laughs> and I am fairly confident that it will crash just because of all the hauntings that the game actually has. And I'm saying that mainly because... Ghost of Thorn Hall basically shouldn't have been put as a mobile mystery. Because, uh, mobile. Because I've noticed that every single haunting that happens on the mobile game, it crashes soon after. It's basically. The crash base is ba basically telling you, oh, this flash, this haunting that's happening, it's not supposed to happen on this phone. It's not supposed to happen on this mobile device. I gotta end this program. I, you can't be doing, you can't be having this program going. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> so, I think that's one of the one of the things that her interactive didn't consider when making when choosing Ghost of Thorn Hall as a mobile mystery. Um, although I'm really glad they did, because the the changes they they did to make it different from the PC slash Mac version. It's actually really cool. I really like what they did. For instance, uh, you cannot choose different audio volumes for the voice effects or music. It's all tied into your mobile volume. And I'm actually going to turn that down. That's probably... Oops, I'm turning it up, not down. That's probably why it's so loud in my ear. <laughs> uh, okay. And now I'm having ringing in my ears. Probably from my medication. Okay, uh, and then there's extras, if I am correct. Oh, come on. My fingers. Okay, there's the awards. This is actually pretty much tied to the PC slash Mac version. Charmed is actually part of the bonus edition, which is interesting. I'm, I'm su a little surprised that they decided to add the bonus edition, the phone charms part of the bonus edition to be part of the mobile mysteries. I guess that's I guess they decided not to I guess they decided to have like the fans who were really into the Need to Do PC slash Mac series to be a part of that bonus edition so they didn't have to be left out because in order to get the bonus edition for B Ghost of Thorn Hall and other certain games that have the bonus edition you actually have to pre-order it before it is publicly released. Once the game is publicly released, you can no longer access the bonus bonus edition. There is no other way to buy it. No other way to find it. Yikes. <laughs> that is what basically makes her interactive different from the, the Hidden Object Games universe. <laughs> uh, in the Hidden Object Games universe, you are actually able to purchase any type of game that actually does have collector's edition where it basically has like uh, wallpapers, uh, soundtrack, concept arts, uh, hit all kinds of different achievements, just not just awards, um, and even like little puzzles that you can do that kind of ties into the, the game that you were playing. It's really cool. Those, those type of collector's edition games, those are really fun to play. In fact, I'm going to be starting one soon. Uh, actually, no. Um, I don't know if it's going to be soon or not, just because of uh, just because of Tomb of the Lost Queen. I didn't realize how slow I am with that game. <laughs> Especially with Ghost of Thorn Hall. I honestly don't know if I'm going to be finishing either of them. <laughs> or I actually no, I I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish Ghost of Thorn Hall, just because of the glitch that I'm having with a current puzzle. Um, and oh, one thing I do, two things I do want to mention. Sorry, three, three. I know I've been talking quite a bit in this intro, but I just want to make sure I get everything in before we get into the game portion part. Uh, but one, this mobile mis this mobile mysteries game requires iOS 7 or later, and you are actually able to get an hour's worth of free gameplay. It is compatible with an iPad, hence why I'm able to record it. <laughs> and but hour after that hour's worth of free gameplay, you're 
you will have to purchase it and the price of that is $5.99 it's actually pretty affordable and uh, if you're actually curious this game was released this mobile mysteries game was released April 2014 hence why there are so many glitches so many problems with it so many glitches and her interactive <laughs> they hardly touched the game to make sure it was playable so they don't like fixing things with their mobile games for some reason anywho uh, one thing that I do want to point out and I wish I could show you with the mobile mystery game unfortunately but um, but unfortunately um, if I do hit new game it would actually reset everything that I did with the story so I'm gonna hit no and basically with every new game you create with an, with every Nancy Drew game you are actually able to choose two different detective levels there's amateur and then there's uh, master I'm not gonna go into full details on the differences between the two just because I've already been talking enough as it is <laughs> And last but not least, if anything, anything in this video does not look familiar, it is because you have not been keeping up. Please, please, please check the description box below. There's a previous video as well as the playlist. I recommend the playlist because it will have everything that I've done so far with uh, Mobile Mysteries, Nancy Drew, Ghost of Thorn Hall. But if you are curious as to how to play the PC Mac version, I have already played it on the channel. Please look for the playlist of that and that will most likely help you out. <laughs> as far as the mobile mysteries, let's hope I can get past this scavenger hunt. Um, actually, no, we're we're kind of on that scavenger hunt. Uh, we're trying to get back to uh, who was it that we found? And we're up opening the journal because we need to go through some of the notes as well as the task list. The task list tracks your objectives to mark a task done. Tap on the checkbox. Tapping the question mark gives you a hint for that task. The journal keeps notes of observations relevant to this case. I actually really like the, the, the hint system that they have for the mobile mysteries of this. And they actually did have, do, they do have this for the uh, PC and Mac version as well. Um, at least I hope it's part of the Mac version. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so, let's see. Um, Clara, Jessalyn. Weird. The first thing, not the one I wrote. Um, oh, here we are. Harper, suspects. Yeah, so we met Harper. So let's actually go ahead and go through. Check. Oh, check. Still haven't. That's done. St still ha can't check. Can't check. Can't check that off. Did that. Solve the riddle in the note to find Harper again. Yeah. So we're trying to get back to the basement, um, or cellar, I should say. And uh, I did note it in the video when we first met Harper, and I will probably mention it again once we do find her, uh, just because, or when there's a haunting that happens. But right now we need to finish this. Uh, painting this portrait hunt and so far as as far as the game says we need to find two more paintings two more portraits but I'm fairly certain we found everything uh, found all of them let me double check so um, yeah so we did get this one the painting outside the workshop and do we get Hiram because I'm fairly certain okay we didn't gotcha oh and there it goes So let me. Oops. I'm gonna go to this real quick, uh, just cause I know what to do now to bring up uh, the uh, 
um, bring the game back up. All right, so we're gonna hear it from my head, my my mic first. Now let's get it on the screen mirroring. There it is. Please say connect. You're connected. There we go. Okay, so let's get back to the game. All right. All right, so we found that. We found both of these, correct? Correct. Um, we can collect, uh, click touch the compass, sorry this is a touch screen, touch the compass uh, to make certain that of like all the things that we can go. So this is one of the portraits and we did find that. Um, blank frame that was a blank frame throughout the game you may see a spark hint that is actually going to be useful um, at some point and this is one of the portraits Uh, and there it goes again. Dang it. Okay. All right. This is pretty frustrating. This is really frustrating. Uh, all right. I am actually going to, before I continue on with the game, I'm going to double check that we do have. Okay. All right. There we go. I'm just going to double check this. It happens again. What the frick? Oh, you know what it is? I'm betting it's the same thing that happened last time where I couldn't move forward unless I actually went forward without the screen. So we do need to face that portrait. Unfortunately, I think I have to... Okay, hopefully you heard that through my mic, but she did find the last uh, thing of it. I cannot believe I never used this the thing on there. Okay, so let me get this on here. Uh bum 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 screen mirroring please. 
Alrighty, Dighty. Alright, so. This is basically what we were able to get, the ABE. So, uh, basically what it says, to find me again, look to the portraits. We found all of the letters from the portraits, and now we have to rearrange the letters. Uh, we need to spell something. And fortunately, I am good with um, anagrams. Uh, come on. Gimme, gimme. It's funny because when I first played this game, I'm like, Okay, this is clearly an anagram. What is it supposed to say? <laughs> ah! Um, well, this word is what gave me trouble when I first saw it. There we go. Why am I not hearing it? There we go. So, basically, she says, that's it! I didn't hear it th through my headphones either, so that's... If you didn't hear it, that means I didn't hear it. <laughs> uh, Alright. So, cotton gin gets seeds, balance scales. So we do have a thing of cotton. I wonder if it's gonna crash the game. <laughs> nope, no, no. Um, I'm actually curious. Hmm, looks like I need to figure out the password. Indeed. And this is where this gravestone epitaph hunt refers to. Which is pretty cool. Because I imagine, I remember if we heard it correctly from Jessalyn's friend, she was adamant on this gravestone gravestone epitaph hunt which means she needed to get into her phone for some reason she couldn't remember her password yes i'm saying the epitaph hunt is password <laughs> how do i get this working again i need to put the combs on first yep definitely and if you have played uh trail of the twister this should look familiar if not you basically have to put everything whoop, on here of where it would be able to match everything um, boink okay all right No. No. Fairly certain I know where that goes, though. No. Didn't we just go through all of them, though? Well, it can't be these two, clearly. Unless I put the wrong one on. No. That went further than did last time. I thought it fit. I thought I went through.
What if I did this here? No. I can't figure it out. Alright. I'm sorry. I am going to cheat here. Because I can't remember. Oh. Oh, wait. How long have I been recording? Yeah, I, I can go on a little bit further. Um... So hopefully it is the same with the mobile version. cotton gin entirely with the F. I'm confused. Oh. All right, this is giving me trouble. Wait, it's saying this one is the first? Oh. It's... saying this one's first. There we go. Gotcha. Uh, then this one. There we go. Trial and error. Bada bing. Bada bang boom. Fixed it. Alrighty, dighty. Going back to the original search that I had. Jeez. Whoa. Encoding overloaded. Alright. Let's run this through. Oh, that just flashed. I think after this I'm gonna stop, because I am over time. <laughs> Okay, so this does... What just happened? The game just ate my cotton.
Did that. Okay, I wasn't supposed to click that, but I wanted a confirmation that that happened. I'm supposed to get cotton seeds out of that. The game just glitched on me. I knew that black screen happened for a reason. Well, let, let's hope. I'm actually going to go to go to main menu and hit continue just one more time. Just to, oh, and it crashes. All right. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. I am about to burp. Ooh. All right, there we go. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and stop mirroring just because we are basically done here, which is a shame. But hey, uh, <laughs> uh, I am going to go ahead and bring up Uncivil Axe just because it is a detail that. Um, uh, actually, you know what, since I am off the share, I do want to double check that it does work, that we do get the seeds. Okay, cool. We do get the seeds. All right. I just wanted to double check that we do have the seeds. We're good. We're good on that. Awesome. And I'm going to have to check three different games when I am done. <laughs> Personal uh, games that I play on my own time. Alright. So, Uncivil Acts. Oh, it's such a good book. I have actually read it, but I haven't read it recently, so my brain is going to be a little bit foggy on explaining what I remember of basically the details of the book. So, I will be reading a description of it, which is somewhat in first person narration. <laughs> So, this is how it goes. A Civil War reenactment should be fun, right? Not in our town. It feels like war fever's taken over. The tension started to build when we all chose sides. Confederates and Union sympathizers never did mix. And if that wasn't enough to heat things up, someone started to secretly dig large holes in the battlefield. Pretty odd, and very... There's a timer. <laughs> Pretty odd, and very suspicious. Is someone waging a little war of their own and trying to cheat? And if so, the bigger question is why? Yeah. So, that is Uncivil Acts, Nancy Drew Girl Detective. That book actually came out 2005, surprisingly. So, that means her, her interactive made their game most likely soon after the book came out if not at least three to four years after the book came out. Because I know it takes them at least one to two years to make a Nancy Drew game, at least with their own game engine. With with Unity, I think it took them like six years. <laughs> Maybe eight. Yikes. Uh, hopefully the new game that they're making, and there is confirmation that they're making a new game, I just don't know what it's called. Um, I need to look that up. <laughs> but... There is confirmation that they're making a new game. I just don't know if they're going to be using their own game engine or if they're going to be using Unity. I, I suppose we'll find out uh, soon. I don't know. Anywho, you are, uh, if you don't have a copy of Uncivil Acts yourself, you can actually get a free copy yourself. And I can tell you how. There is a description. There is a link in, in the description box below. <laughs> yes, I said link. You know that website I used to talk about all the time last year? In fact, <laughs> multiple years. I think it was over a year, really. This business called Internet Archives. They actually have two websites. Basically, inter uh, archive.org and openlibrary.org. Both of them are basically uh, databases filled with a whole bunch of different books. Open Library is basically a book, uh, an actual book book library that you can look up like any t any kind of book. Uh, Nancy Drew, uh, sci-fi, fantasy, uh, murder mystery, uh, cookbooks if you n if if need be. They have everything. 
whereas archive.org, they have, uh, what is it, meta boxes, m metadatas, megadatas. They even have audiobooks. They have, they have podcasts. They have all kinds of crazy stuff. What's really cool about archive.org, that specific website, is that they have multiple libraries that you can choose from. And not just from around the country, because they do have like different uh, college, uni college and un universities libraries, I think, to help out college students, basically. But it, there are also a couple of other libraries from around the world to help you out in case you want to read something international which is pretty cool i think basically this uh internet archives was basically created by uh someone from the american government i could be wrong though <laughs> just because the database of this is basically like the the that i forgot what the place was called that huge library that was displayed in national treasure boy <laughs> I'm slow. No, National Treasure 2. Sorry, National Treasure 2. I am slow. I cannot think right now. <laughs> but yes, what's really cool about uh, both archive.org and openlibrary.org, you don't actually have to pay in order to get in order to get these books. You are actually up borrow you are actually able to borrow up to 10 books. And you don't actually have to wait. A, you don't actually have to hold on to them for a certain amount of, for like an inf, I wish it was an infinite amount of time, but unfortunately, you are able to check them out for at least an hour each. And if not an hour, you are actually able to check them out for 14 days. That is two weeks. That may not both those time frames may not be enough, but at least it's enough if you want to. <laughs> read a really good book <laughs> uh, especially if it's a, sh a short one or if it's a super long one for instance Nancy Drew because I do know there are some pretty lengthy Nancy Drew books or if you want to watch or if you want to read like his his dark materials or Jennifer St. Giles oh man I love erotic stories did I just say that out loud oops <laughs> oh man that's going to be on the internet forever. Okay, well, I think that might actually be it for today. So, I love you all so, so, so much, my beautiful kittens and viewers. I hope I helped you out at least a little bit in, in this video. If not, I'm not doing my job. And I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. If so, smash that like button like a kitten would. And if you're just now tuning into this channel and you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that ugly red subscribe button. Make it that beautiful, <coughs> beautiful gray. <laughs> as, as well as that bell icon right next to it. That'll notify you of all the videos that I do, which are on Wednesdays, 6 p.m. Central, and Sundays, 4.30 p.m. Central. I am super excited for this new game I am about to play on the channel. Ah. Uh... <laughs> I hope... I am. I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I am Sweet Rascally Rabbit, saying goodbye, stay awesome, and stay on YouTube! Wow! Wow! I gotta work on my timings. <laughs> <laughs>